Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2025 ski test. Got an Atomic Redster Q 9.8 for you today. New graphic update for this year, but remains structurally the same as what we've seen in the past. And that's great news for skiers who are looking for a wide carving ski uh, at 84, 85 millimeters underfoot, depending on uh, the length, you're in that mid 80 zone for underfoot width and it has a pretty short turn radius too. So 15 meters here, 14.4, excuse me, in this 173. So sub 15 at 84, 85 underfoot. And these skis just turn on a dime. They really want to be engaged in the carved turn and a relatively short one at that. Uh, because it manufactures that short turn radius, it does have wider tips and tails as well. So there's definitely some surface area in both uh, shovels and tails, as well as underfoot. So you're getting a wide platform to stand on. Offers a pretty unique kind of overall sensation and character uh, within these front side skis. There's not a whole lot out there that's kind of built like a race ski from a construction standpoint and then has this type of shape. So pretty unique and specific option here from Atomic. I kind of look at this as a wider slalom ski, uh, but it does have some versatility to it when it comes to softer snow, more broken snow, even like crud and chop and stuff like that, uh, but ideally used on uh, front side and on piece terrain, groomers, uh, you know, anything that has been groomed in the past day or so, that's where this ski really lights it up. Uh, very predictable, very smooth, and with that extra width underfoot, you get more mass overall as well. So it feels like a very substantial product on your foot, uh, even though it's not terribly heavy. So pretty cool stuff coming from Atomic here with this Q98. Uh, it is built with a power wood core. It's a blend of poplar and ash. Ash is used in a lot of race skis as a sturdier, stronger, and more damp uh, material and then the poplar is a little bit lighter and more energetic so a nice blend of attributes in those uh, in those materials we do have a titano laminate in here as well for dampness and power and then there are revo shock plates in the forebody of the ski that's an additional damping uh, application uh, with these steel plates floating in an elastomer material uh, so they do a really nice job of uh, dispersing any type of unwanted chatter uh, these certainly feel glued to the snow. Uh, RevoShock and that Titanol laminate have everything to do with it. Uh, they're just extraordinarily predictable and really unwavering. So when you put this uh, massive tip shape up on edge, it really just starts that carve and just brings you right through. If you're looking for uh, you know, just instantaneous feedback from a ski, uh, this wider shovel will do it. If you think about it just having uh, you know, more opportunities to create leverage and get to a higher edge angles. Uh, that's, that's what this ski does better than a lot of them out there and just rips you through a clean round turn. Um, you know, other than that, there's not a whole lot that it does. You know, it really kind of falls into that category of being kind of pigeonholed as that wider front side carving ski, but it does so uh, at an extraordinarily high level and is extremely rewarding. I feel like if I were to kind of ski in an area that had wider open groomers, like just a ton of blue, intermediate, beautiful corduroy groomers, uh, this would be a top choice for me for sure because you're just going to link uh, extraordinarily clean and round turns from top to bottom uh, without even thinking about it. It's such a natural and intuitive feel. So pretty cool stuff coming from Atomic here. Uh, and with that, you know, 14.4 meter turn radius in this length, uh, this 173, there's a, there's a lot of potential in terms of just kind of improving and increasing your carving ability. Uh, I've skied it in the 181 as well, and, and I prefer it in that longer length just because it opens up uh, the turn shape just a little bit, but there's certainly enough stability and power for even a skier of my size at 6'2", 225, uh, certainly enough power built into the ski so that you can ski it shorter, especially if you're looking for a shorter arc. Not a whole lot to talk about in terms of uh, taper shape and rocker profile. Uh, this footprint is borrowed very much from their race room, uh, fully cambered ski, zero taper, camber underfoot, 
but with that wider shovel, uh, you just get instantaneous edge, edge grip and control and reactivity uh, the second you put it up on edge. But definitely more of that front side specific shape with no rocker uh, and a very business-like tail, flat, square, very race-like. Just all the dimensions are made bigger and wider. So pretty cool stuff from Atomic here with this Q9.8. Uh, again, kind of a specific application in terms of uh, linked carving turns on groomers and on pieced situations, but it does that better than most. So a uh, lot of love here for the Q9.8. Make sure you check this thing out here at SkiEssentials.com, and we'll see you out there on the hill. Bye.